Hello guys and welcome to the 5th episode of the Gondorian Master Guide. Today we are attacking Captain Radhur, which got the trash army. They only got one archer unit. Um, they do have the Morgul Chosen, but um, you remember we have a really strong army. So last episode we, we took Minas Morgul, now called Minas Ethel, going to make it just like in the old age, old days. Um, going to make it a beautiful white tower. We're going to rebuild it. So now, oh, we actually have to sally out from here. So I'll uh, meet you guys in a moment. So welcome back guys. I have marched my troops outside um, Minas Ethil and we're now going to simply shoot at the enemy while they are yeah they're going to attack us after we uh, shoot arrows at them but um, of course we'll get some hits in so let's see yeah they will go for the bait they will now attack so let's start moving out these troops Now we want to start hitting these guys in the back. And we'll flank this unit and these archers will focus on these guys. Actually these guys. So these will oh we don't actually want them to go against the orc mons. We want these guys to flank the cell from warband. Now we're just going to let these guys charge in. We'll flank with. We'll take the orc scouts out with this unit. We might actually want to. Yeah, we want to send in these guys too. And we could flank, but we're going to wait for these units. We also want to take out the orc mollus with them. Um, the um, Lebanon Marines, the Orc Scouts are now firing at us. We're going to hit these guys. So, the Ethelian Rangers really have a very good, strong um, um, range. Let's see, we can flank these guys. Um, perhaps not, we'll see. And now, let's start using our Fountain Guard. Now hit the Orc Malus. Or actually we want to hit these Orc Malus. They're perfect position to just hit them. So oh it looks like we went a bit too far into with into the enemy with this um, unit. I want a little um, mismanagement by me. Uh, we also forgot to use our cavalry. But I'm going to send these guys out. And now we hit these Orc Malus. And it looks like the Morgul Chosen are hitting these tier 12 guardsmen. So we want to aid them with the Fountain Guard. Actually, we want to put them over here first. Now move out the cavalry again. And keep going, gunner infantry. So we killed the general. Now it's going to be a cakewalk, really. Um, it looks like, yeah. So this is Mordor's worst enemy, the um, the routing. They really struggle um, in these kind of situations. Let's see. Let's hit these guys and let's just go into this. Yeah, these um, this cavalry unit should just uh, clean up these guys. Let's now hit the orc scouts.
Only half the enemy force remains. Now let's hit the Orc Scouts. You see, when you use a proper Gondorian army, you're really never going to have any trouble. You're just going to melt the enemy. Now, perhaps send... Yeah, we should hit these guys in the back, actually. Let's put the Athena Rangers over here. And actually hit these guys in the back. We can flank with these guys, too. Yeah, now they're all routing. Now I'm actually going to go out of the pipe mode just to catch units. Actually, we can use the Ethereum Rangers because they're really fast. They might actually catch uh, a lot of units. So now let's look. Yeah, there's only the scouts remaining now. Actually, we could use this guy, to, these guys, to just capture a lot. Take out the Morgul Chosen. Yeah, now the whole army is routed, but um, we still want to catch a lot of them because um, else they're going to return to the battlefield. Let's see. Take out these scouts, please. So the unit we don't want to return is actually the Morgul Chosen, so I'm going to focus on the on them. Yeah, we're not going to catch all the units. Uh, so sometimes you actually want more than one cavalry unit. Um, yeah, we should definitely get some more um, cavalry units. So it looks like most of the Morgul Chosen are going to get away, so we want to speed up these guys. Hit the Morgul Chosen. Yeah, they're getting them now. Now we're going to go for the Orc Mollers. So if you actually are playing as Mordor, you don't want to do what the AI did here. You really want to just surround the enemies. That's the best this way to um, counter large armies. So he lost 49 men and killed 2,364. Uh, the Athelian Rangers got a lot of kills. And yeah, that's mostly it actually. Right, so we're going to execute everyone. So that's beautiful. If we attack Captain Ugdush, we might um, provoke Jean Dordondef and actually get Kirith Ungul, just like we just took um, Minas Ethil. Um, but I'm not sure just yet. Um, yeah, okay, let's. If we just leave one unit, it's going to be okay. And we'll be able to move this army back to Minas Ethil. So let's just save just in case. All right. So now we're going to attack Captain Ugdush. Yeah. So we simply, if we win this battle, we're going to capture Kenneth Ongol. So you see, this um, uh, this army is just trash, really just trash. Um. Except for Giondor Dondef, I think he has Temple Marksman, no Temple Wards, which is a really, really strong unit. But um, you see, this strategy is really working. Um, it's a really good strategy to take settlements without fighting the garrison. So you are going to spare a lot of units. It looks like the Orcs are going for the high ground. Um, it's not that much of a high ground. We can just position our archers over here and then attack them. Now we're already getting some early nice hits on them. I'm simply just going to let them fire for a while. But now we actually want to start moving our army. So we're going to put the archers up here.
and we want to move in the spearmen in a straight line over here and we want to be able to take out um, Gildur Dondef with his bodyguard so I'm going to send some extra units over there and these guys I want to send actually it looks like the orc archers are coming closer I'm going to start hitting them so let's see they might actually they might ac actually go for us I'm just going to send our army up here instead just for now actually want this spear to like this I'm just going to put the um, sword swordman behind just for now we actually want to spare these guys let's just hit them real hard actually or they might they might run away I'm not sure what the AI is doing right now but we'll uh, we'll take advantage of it yeah so hit them that's going to be some free experience now uh, yeah it looks like they're actually coming for us I'm going to run our units now the Ethel Rangers should start firing um, we want to hit yeah we could simply we, we want to spare some ammo for the temple wards but for now I'm just going to fire into the blob so actually we want to help out the fountain god just so they doesn't get surrounded you know And now let's flank. Yeah, there we killed the first general. Very fortunate. So now let's take the Gondor militia over there. The Gondor infantry we are also going to send into here. And these guys we are going to surround the orc archers with. Now let's start. Yeah, this is perfect angle. Really getting some good hits. And now the Lebanon Marines we want to get over here because the uh, temple wards are approaching Gondor infantry we're going to send into the fray as well the Gondor militia down here we still have a lot of idle Gondor militia units we're going to need a lot on the flank where um, where the temple wards are coming in so let's see the orc scouts. Okay, we want to hit the orc, orc scouts. Or actually, we yeah. Uh, let's see these ethereal ranges. We're going to hit the orc scouts with. Captain Farmer is going to start hitting temple wards. We actually want to retreat the temp, uh, the gunner militia, so we can hit the temple wards. Uh, let's see, and these guys also. You know what? Everyone go for the temple wards, and these guys will go for the orc scouts. So. The Nazgul bodyguard units get the temple wards or the temple marksmen, the archer um, version of this unit. And they're really really strong in melee. So you really want to... Let's see, we're going to make a straight line over here. And we don't want anyone to escape, uh, so we forgot to use our cavalry. Let's see where... Yeah, these guys are over here. Let's send them here and start hitting the temple wards. So we already dropped them to 96, this is very good. They're not going to get a lot of stuff done actually. Now let's really send in the Fountain Guard. Yeah, we're getting some good hits over there. Now start hitting them with the Javelins. Let's see, they are. We're going to hit this unit with our cavalry. So now they're very susceptible to javelins and arrows because they don't have any shields. Uh, that's that's what you really want to focus on when you're hitting this unit. Because if you let them get into melee, they're going to shred your units. 
They are seriously powerful. So, yeah, we're really dropping them now. Let's see if these guys can get some more hits. I think we have a really bad angle. Yeah, now they're engaged. We'll lose some golden militia, but that doesn't really matter. So let's see. Yeah, we'll, we're simply just. Now, actually, we want to hit them with those guys, and we actually want to hit the orc scouts instead, because now they're engaged. Even though we have a pretty good angle, we're getting some... Yeah, actually we might not get some friendly fire. Uh, let's see, these guys took care of them. Let's take care of the Moran and God. So now, a larger portion of the army is starting to rout. And we're really good getting these temple wards down, there are only 20 men left. Now, let's just flank. The Fountain Guard gain some experience, which is great. Actually start hitting these guys instead. The Ethelian Rangers are going to hit these ones. So I... Ethelian Rangers, one of your best early game units in my opinion. They can really be utilized to a very good potential. Now, I think these guys, yeah, they're almost done, so now I'm going to send in, um, just surround them with Gunner Militia. They're still going to get a lot of kills though. They're that powerful. Okay, now, start hitting these guys, start hitting these guys. Something these guys. Yeah, now we just need to capture them all, actually. Even, yeah, even the Nav school is trying to run away. So we really want to, really want to capture him. We don't want him back on the battlefield. Let's take him out with this Ethan Ranger. So we don't want anyone to escape because then they're going to escape back to Kirith Ungol and we're not going to get a settlement. So it's very important that we bring them all down. So it looks like, yeah, Gindur Donlef has been captured, which is very, very exciting. Now we want to capture these units, which are plentiful. Yeah, so this is some excellent work. You really want to just um, uh, have a cavalry unit so you can use this tactic to its full potential. It's really going to get you some results. Actually, yeah, we capture them. Now, there's not a lot of units left, so I actually think we're going to get the settlement, which is wonderful. So you see, Minas Morgul and Kirithongul, you can basically capture them both in like two turns. So we killed a lot of orcs. They lost like 2,400 men and we only lost like 200. So the Ithian Rangers got a lot of kills. As, oh, the ter as well as the Territorial Guardsmen. Yeah, yeah, the Territorial Guardsmen did. So we're going to execute them all. And then we're going to capture Kirith Ungul. So now we have taken both Kirith Ungul and Minas Ethel in like two turns, which is just wonderful. Um, now let's see, this army is really strong and we're going to need a lot of our units back over here. Now let's use a scout to see if there are any armies upcoming. It actually doesn't look like there's a lot of units here, so if we send some, we're going to send this general over to Minas Ethil. And we're going to send these two Gondor Militia to Minas Ethil. So that's these two units. 
So this is going to hit our income a bit, but we're still earning a lot of money, you see. A Boromir will we are going to need now. So I'm going to send him, let's see. We don't want him caught in Eastern or Skillet. I'm going to send over these units here. And Boromir I'm going to send to Western or Skillet. So yeah, we're still earning a lot of money. Now it looks like Khand is coming for Ostithil. That's not great. So we're going to get attacked from Mordor, both from this side and this side. And the Varags of Khand are coming up here. Um, fortunately, the Dolamorph um, has taken Thirithoros, so it's probably going to help us. But they are, of course, busy occupying Harad as well. So now, yeah, we can attack these guys next turn, I believe. Um, now we want to... We're going to need more units. They're really cavalry and pikemen focused army, actually. But we don't want to fight them in the field. Um, We'll need a Phantom God over here, Cer certainly. Of course, they are they're that large of an army. So we're probably going to send them over some more units. We want the Gondoran Spearmen and these Lebanon Marines. And we could use this Archer Militia too. Uh, I'm just simply going to make a tower over here really quick. We don't have enough money to build a library. Mm. This army might just be strong enough. I'm not sure though. We might need yeah, we might need one more or two more units. We're going to send these guys over too. So I think this army can deal with Captain Gorshag if he starts si sieging us out. Um and I actually think we could start pushing even further. Let's see if we actually move. Yeah, we're going to move Hurin over to Kirith Ungul. And we're going to... Or actually, Mordor is going to get a Doomstack army. Like, not Doomstack, but a really powerful army. And they're going to send it towards us. So... We don't actually want... We could take Ursh Estolad really quickly though. Let's just see. Yeah, we can take down the tax rate. So actually... Yeah, okay, this general is going to be stuck here right now. Okay, let's send over Borodir to this city. Alright, we're just going to end the turn there. I was just thinking a lot. But um, the Eastern Front is really going great now. We really struck Mother hard. But now I think they're going to send some. They're going to come some Olog Heights and stuff. It looks like they're trying to take us by surprise outside Minas Morgul. For a we understand. Good day they might just attack us. Yeah. So this is a script. And now I believe there's coming an army from Baradur. We'll take a look. Yeah, Radzag. So you see, he spawns with Olokai and such. That's really going to... Um, my lord speaks highly of my to strike us. Now... How far can they get in one turn? Can we actually attack? We can actually attack Irsha Estolad. We might just go for a really quick... We might actually be able to defeat this army too. Alright, so we're going to go really aggressive now. We're going to hit Irsh Estolad with the Hurin of the Keys. So they're going to send a, they're going to send backup armies, but it doesn't really matter. Um, 
So this Southern army I think is standing like right there. Most advanced faction. Alright, so we're going to need some more units now. Now we need to keep the pressure. We can build some more. We can train, recruit some more Ethereum Rangers. Going to build the library. Alright. Let's see. We could probably send some more units down to Kairendros. And we want, of course, to move Boromir over here, but I think this this army is like right here, so we don't want to do it. We we need to check with our spy the next turn, actually. So now we want to, yeah, we're going to build more stuff, and of course attack yeah, at Kedithi Hour. We're going to build a leather worker, simply to. Um, get some uh, better armor in the eastern front and we want to take down the tax rate at eastern of Skillet just because we want to rebuild the city uh, earlier like um, Elite Dwarf uh, commented on so thank you we might as well just nah I'm not going to build anything here in Kalambal we can build the grain exchange And in Pelargir, I'm going to build chicken farming. All right. So now we are going to attack Kirithi Hour, Captain Naglug. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this battle really quickly. It's just like one unit. So I'll be right back. Yeah. So we're now seeing the end of this battle. It was, we lost like 8 men, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. We just surrounded them with pikemen and cavalry. This uh, might look like the battle for Asanul Bizar during the um, War of the Orcs and Dwarves. That battle must certainly, um, it should really be broadcasted in the new Lord of the Rings series that's upcoming and will be screened in 2021. It would really be a cool um, cool um, battle to watch. Like they have it in the Hobbit movie but it's not really the same. So now we have taken care of the hour. Um, we actually need a good uh, ruler up here. So let's look. I don't actually remember its trait. Kind ruler. Yeah, respect. So we, we could send up um, um, Hirling. So I'm simply going to build some towers up here. Let's see if we can. We could probably build it up here. So we're going to store our units up here. And we're simply going to recruit more people and just, um, no, not a farm handle, but um, let's look, we can send um, <coughs> the, territorial, the territorial guardsmen, <coughs> excuse me, and um, let's recruit more people. All right, let's move, actually there. So. We might want to be aggressive against Isengard as well. Um, yeah, and let's put these guys up here. Yeah, actually we're going to get really aggressive. We're simply just going to start attacking Isengard. We need to start building stuff over here too. So the thing with like how we played in the early game, it really played into our hand. It al allows this aggressive play on two fronts. And you really need to be able to do that as Gondor. Because 
you are getting attacked from a lot of different sides, you know. So yeah, Mordor are sending some reinforcements. We're going to take Urs Estolad, probably sack it, and perhaps just retreat back to Minas Morgul. No Minas Ithil, I'm not sure. I haven't decided just yet. Oh, so they're actually sending one of the diplomats now. So I think the Variks... No, they didn't take it. Oh, it's actually rioting up here. Let's see if Hirling can stop it. Yeah, he prevented the... The um, rioting, that's great. Alright, so we want to... We don't actually have... Yeah, we want some more... Um, we want some more... Um, actually, we're going to build the, the meeting hall first, and then we want some more culture, of course. So, now, let's take a look. We want all of these units to get up here bef before we start attacking. Let's see if we can recruit more people now. Alright. So, yeah, this army is going to be pretty big. The issue, though, is that an wife might start attacking us. That would be really unfortunate. Uh, we could ally, but I'm not going to do it. We'll see how. Um, we'll see what happens. Now let's start building some more stuff. So yeah, you see, we don't have the power to just build stuff everywhere now. It goes a lot of slower. Oh, we can actually start training some catapults. We just need some more money. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to attack Irsh Estolad. This as well is going to be a ver very easy battle, so I'm going to meet you at the, um, the end of the battle. So, be right back. So yeah, another easy victory. We only lost 15 men and we demolished the army. Of course, it was a really easy battle. So now we actually have plunged deep into Mordor. So, and you see, when we first attacked, we really just got three settlements in like two turns. So you see how powerful the waiting tactic is. If we started attacking right away, Oh, um, firstly, we wouldn't have obtained Eastern Moskila so that easily. And secondly, they would have a lot of armies which we hadn't defeated just yet. We shall remember this day. So now, of course, the very strong army is coming. So I don't want to, like, start um destroying stuff and such just for money because we're going to want to take this settlement sooner anyways i'm going to set up a watchtower over here um and you know the army hasn't even arrived in sight so we could actually push the thing is we're going to have a lot of units over here and that might actually be enough to... Yeah, we're going to start moving troops down to Eastern Oskilet. Like this. And I think we're actually going to have enough units to take out that army. So we can actually send some more strong units to Irsh Estolad. And then defeat the Oleg High Army, which I, which is approaching. So we just don't want to be caught off guard by some random army. That's the thing. Mm. Yeah, we're going to need some strong reinforcements. Now they're probably going to attack Minas Ethil, though. So. And we don't have a very strong garrison. We're going to send in uh, an extra army, and then the, it will be a field battle, which 
won't probably work that well. So the fountain god we might actually leave there just to take care of the cavalry and also the Lebedin marines. I think if we send these reinforcements we could actually defeat the Olukai army. So we start we want to start building the school in Minas Ithil. So we actually want to do that before we start building stuff over here. Just because I want to get the Minas Ithil Guardians. Um, because you get them when you have 35% um, um, culture. So let's start building the school. How much? We have like 8%. Okay. So it's still a while. Now we want to build... Yeah, we could build the chicken farming over here. And make a catapult in Brazil. Because it's really fun to use catapults. Now, this army is probably going to be strong enough to take out Ostithil. And then there's going to come armies from Ostithil as well. So it's going to be a swell situation. Um, let's take up the tax just... Yeah, we're actually going minus here, but it's okay. Alright, so let's end the turn there. Now... Want to see if we are going... If we can find this um, Southron and Easterling army. Actually, Ed and Wife are pretty... Um, not hostile to us, so I'm going to accept the trade rights. An honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Just because um, that might actually make some better relations to them. And now as we are going to attack Isengard, we don't want them to take out the Kirif Yawr. So yeah. Yeah, they took Ossithil. Now they're probably coming for us sooner or later. So now we actually might want to. Yeah, pro hopefully they're going for this settlement. If they're not, we're going to attack them out in the open field. Um. So let's find this hidden army. Yeah, so just standing over here, not enabling us to really get into Minas Ithil, it looks like. Perhaps we can. But now... Mm, now it's going to become a cheeky situation. They're actually sending more reinforcements here. But their priority is to take out Minas Ithil. They don't really care about the other settlements. Um, just because Mother are always focusing on taking back this settlement. So we do want to send... I think they can get into here, yes. So we can actually just reinforce it. That's what I'm going to do. So we're still making like 9,000 and that's because we have gained a lot of new territory. Very useful. I'm not going to start building a library here just yet. Um, Let's see, we want to recruit some, yeah. We just want to recruit units all over the Eastern Front now because of Count. That's really going to be cheeky. Uh, we want some armor on these troops as well. Or actually, I'm going to wait with that. Uh, we're going to build the irrigation. And we're going to build the chicken farming to get um, the city upgrade even faster. I mean, as Anor, we can soon start recruiting uh, the fiefdom barracks units, which is very useful. So, let's just take a look at this border, at the western border. We're going to wait with Talagrondos for now. It works like a shield against Enedwaith. I actually believe these armies can start moving soon, so we might actually need a farm and pikeman. Um, yeah, next turn we are going to start moving towards Isengard, we are going to lead the army with Eorthon. 
All right, so I think that's enough for today. So in this episode, we took up Kirithongul and Irth Eshtolad, as well as uh, Kirithiaur. Um, now, Kant might come knocking on our door sooner or later. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, we'll probably try to hold this bridge against them, which is the best strategy. Um, we will need some Anphalus pikemen, which we can recruit in the next turn. Uh, here, in the yeah, in two turns. But yeah, our economy is very strong, and we are expanding at rapid pace. So it looks like it's going just all right, even though there are going to be some major battles over here and over here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys um, for the next episode.